we just want to say what a great lesson there is. Yes. Amen. Right. That, that Colton just preached. Amen. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the great thing to know is that uh, we're continuing the work uh, at Mass Maritime Academy. Right. Amen. Right. Introduced to the body Peter McCarrion. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, Peter's a sophomore there. Uh, he's studying engineering. And an uh, incredible student. He was doing some homework last night. We studied for eight hours yesterday and uh, took some homework break there uh, in the midst of it. And he was doing a whole bunch of stuff dealing with imaginary numbers, but we won't talk about that. But uh, the good thing to know is that today uh, we get to deal with the real thing. And uh, what I've just uh, grown with, uh, as we studied with Peter, just to see his incredible heart and love for God. And uh, just see your convictions and uh, to see today that uh, because of your convictions, in spite of all the things you've gone through, you're going to be at the end of the family of God. So uh, I'm going to ask uh, Brian to share a little bit, and then Mike, uh, who actually uh, is Peter's best friend, uh, to share a little bit about it. Oh, okay. And then uh, Peter's going to share, and then we're going to get back to it. Yeah, just be real quick. Peter, I just want to say, man, I'm so proud of you. Uh, you guys don't know, he was, he was doing uh, studying all yesterday, and I got back after midnight, and he's like, I'm just going to read through the Gospel of John. And he's like, I think he stayed up to like one or two just reading through the Gospel of John. And it's awesome just to see your convictions. I mean, uh, we were driving the other day, and I was just like, Peter, man, you're so trustworthy. I just feel safe with you driving in the car. <laughs> you just have that kind of personality. You know? The scripture that made me think of you is in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. It says, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And it's awesome to see because you're not only hearing the words of God, but it's like really now you're putting them into practice more and more. And I'm just encouraged for you, Rob. I'm looking forward to an awesome friendship. And uh, God's going to do great things for your life. So. Come on. God is good, right? Amen. We were baptized two weeks ago, and that's my best buddy right here. Come on. Come on. You can't ask for more. But, um, you know, Peter has had an impact on my life for a while. And, um, I just want to read a scripture that immediately when I read it for the first time, I thought about Peter. If you don't believe the Bible, to 1 Corinthians 13, Come on. Uh, 3 through 8, a little bit of 8, not all the 8. If I give all the possesses to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always prote uh, protects, always trusts, always hopes, love perseveres, and a little bit of hate, love never fails. Yeah, come on. Come on. But Peter, that's where I was just like, wow, like I feel convicted, because immediately Peter popped in my head. And with everything Peter's done, he's always showed an amazing amount of love. And um, he's always inspired me. And um, through these studies and everything, you get to see the love of him and uh, just the heart he has for God. And uh, I'm just so excited to be able to share in that. And um, I know that God has such a wonderful plan for Peter. And uh, yeah. people are going to be very, very astonished by uh, his bursting love. And come on. People are just going to come, come being baptized all the time for Peter because, you know, love conquers all, like he says, you know. And, uh, Peter definitely has it. So, yeah, awesome. Come on, Pete. Um, like uh, like like Brian said, um, uh, I read through uh, verse of John last night, and uh, one of the big thing, one of the big things that um, that I uh, I recognized that that was my downfall was um, John eight. Um, 31 through 32. Um, to the Jews who had believed him, Jesus said, If you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Um, I, I've been, I've been, uh, I, grew, I grew, up, grew up in the church, and uh, never, no one really ever sat down with me and uh, explained the gospels to me, explained the cost of really um, following God and um, explain the cost of uh, not not following God, you know. Um, and so it really opened my eyes that, you know, um, it's good that I, was, that I was learning scripture, but if I wasn't holding to it, you know, then I, get, I, I realized that I was really never a disciple and I really never knew truth. And, you know, that messed 
I mess me up, and you know, everyone, everyone I ever talked to about the love of Christ and God. Um, and so I, I really, have, I really have had to trust God and really um, take a, take a step back and, and, and look at my life and um, see what I can improve. Um, and even during uh, during communion, uh, it really uh, hit me a lot. You know that what I was doing in my, in my past, um, calling, calling myself a Christian about holding to the teaching, what I was doing in the past was um, I'd go play, go play in mud and then grab Jesus as he was, like a, like a dish towel, you know, or a towel and just wipe clean, you know, and then keep going back to the same thing over again. And it's like, it's not meant for that. It's not, it's not meant, <laughs> he's not meant, what he did is it's way more than that, you know, way more than that. And, uh, so uh, the scripture you, you spoke uh, this morning for the ties uh, really it really hit me too. Um, I was first Chronicles twenty nine, and um, for some reason uh, it really didn't hit me that I needed to bring my wallet uh, last night to uh, to when we're staying with Brian, Brian's uh, apartment, and um, so I was in the car. And this morning I was like, oh, I didn't bring anything for tie. And I was like, you know, my tie today is. To willingly, generously, and lovingly give Christ what what, what He deserves. And it's my life. Yeah. 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 It's my life, and, and giving and giving it back to Him. And I'm going to serve Him with this body I have. Come on. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. Son of God, they lived a sinless life and died for your sins and resurrected on the third day. I do. What is your good confession? Jesus is Lord. Now baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Come on! Yep. Come on. So your sins are forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> and you receive God's Holy Spirit. There yeah. we go! Yeah. Hey. 